So Cal moved into my road and be still my beating heart. And he would take the bus into town to get to school he was at. Now, my, I had to take the bus to school, but I was going in the opposite direction. So I'd wait for him, I'd look through the night curtains, walk out, hi Judith, oh hi Callum. <laughs> so I would take the bus into town and then get on another bus to go to school, hoping that he would ask me out. I used to fancy guys from afar, make up a personality for them, and then be really disappointed that they were nothing like this personality I'd given them. When I first started dating, uh, people didn't have mobile phones, so if you wanted to, to speak to a girl, you'd have to actually phone her home number. We had these phones attached to the wall in the hallway. The, the mum or the dad would answer it. Hello, is Samantha there? Trembly voice, and you'd have to like try and control it, because you're going through puberty at the time, you'd have to be like, can I speak to Samantha, please? You know, and then the dad would be like, come near my daughter. Uh, no, no, we're just friends, no. No, we haven't done anything. My dad would not allow me to date because he was very strict. However, if my dad was out of the house, I would use the opportunity to like, phone up a boy. You know, we were dead posh, we had two house phones. If my brothers clocked that I was speaking to someone, especially if they clocked I was speaking to a boy, they had a field day. They were there farting down the phone, making noises. <laughs> Honestly, they were horrific. 